is it a car or is it a house? Um, good question. Uh, <laughs> it depends on whether it's legally affixed to land. Now, what do I mean by that? Okay. So if it's sitting in a mobile home park and the, there is a park owner who is leasing out the land, then it is going to be considered like a car. It's going to have a title. Okay, it's going to be considered personal property, and it'll be taxed accordingly, or it'll have registration fees. Depends on the state. If it is in a mobile home park that is resident owned, now uh, places where you might find this would be like your retirement communities. So where I found this very commonly occurring, um, Florida, Arizona, Texas, okay, some of the Carolinas where the residents have bought, everybody, a good portion of the residents have put in a certain percent or dollar amount to go toward the purchase of the mobile home park. So that the residents actually buy out, if you will, the original park owner. Okay? Now at that point, it is technically considered real property because they have a piece or share of real estate and a mobile home sitting on it. Now, that becomes a little sticky as to how that's evaluated. So that's a little bit of a nuance, but I want to bring that up. So that technically would be a, it would be a traditional closing where it would be a real estate type of transaction that would need to occur. So it would be considered more like a house, but it would have some different variables. Where it would ultimately be considered a house is if you have land, not necessarily in a park, but a, a, just a lot, um, out by itself, maybe a quarter acre, and you have a mobile home sitting on it. Now if you go down to the courthouse and you take a look at the tax assessor's office and you see that parcel of land sitting there and it's going to typically have a land value and then it'll have a notation whether there's an improvement or not. If it does not show that there's an improvement, then it is the actual mobile home is considered more like a car. It's a title situation. Um, if it is a, if you see the, the tax um, records show that there's improved land, sorry, that there's land and that there's an improvement on there, and it shows that it's like a 1978 um, uh, to a manu manufactured home and it has the dimension sitting there and it might even have the serial number, then what you're going to want to do is take that's going to be taken into consideration. So just a, just food for thought, that's going to be taken into consideration as a uh, real estate. So it'll be considered real property. And so it would be a deed transfer at that time rather than a, so it would be a deed transfer for the mobile home and also for the land together. Now like I said with the prior one where it was just the land and it didn't show that there was an improvement then the land would have a deed and the mobile home would be transferred via title okay so the mobile home in that case would be considered personal property the land would be considered real property so you'd have two different types of closings in the other case where the land and the mobile home showed as an improvement that those two together would be sold just like your site built house um, and it would be a deed transfer, be considered real property and taxed accordingly. So how it's transferred, like I just said, it depends on whether it's considered title, so personal property, or whether it's considered real property. If it's considered real property, such as in the case where they have shares in a mobile home park, or the mobile home is considered an improvement on the land, that would be transferred like real real estate, traditional real estate would be transferred. So there would be a traditional closing and there would be deeds. If it is a situation where the land is there and it doesn't show an improvement, then it would be a title transfer. So just like going down the DMV and transferring title that's been endorsed over, uh, transferred over from one party to the next and you just wait to get it and the only thing you're not getting is plates. <laughs> okay. In some cases you would get registration stickers. Uh, Florida you'll see registration stickers. In other states you'll see registration stickers. So hopefully that answers that question there.